Hi, I'm Julie. I'm Robbie. We're heading the road to meet folks from all over the state who are feeling the effects of climate change. We're also going to meet people who have found real solutions. Join us as we visit a club that's rather unusual. If you like vaginas, you'll love oysters. Want to ask me about my gooey duck? <laughs> okay, don't get too excited. This is not pornography. The gooey duck, Evergreen's mascot, some people say is a little bit phallic. We say yes, and isn't that great? It sounds pornographic, but it's just basic anatomy. Genitalia jokes are an icebreaker to welcome all to the Evergreen College Shellfish Club. Meet Emily Dunwilder. She led the club last year. Oysters are her passion. Alex Boisner will lead the club this year. When it comes to mollusks, he's in love. What are these crazy college kids up to? Twice a month, they gather here. They come out to the beach at you know midnight or 1 a.m. in the middle of the winter. They put on these heavy chest waders and big boots. It's wet, it's rainy, it's cold, and you're trekking through the woods. All of a sudden you get down, there's a big expanse of water, and you get to feast. Hundreds of students have eaten thousands of oysters. Puget Sound has always been known for its diverse sea life, but recently shellfish have been dying off. So this club educates students through their bellies. Emily's motto, eat it to save it. We believe that if you eat an oyster, you will be invested in that oyster. So what do oysters have to do with climate change? A single oyster can filter 30 to 50 gallons of water a day, so that means that our thousands of oysters are contributing to cleaning Eld Inlet and cleaning Puget Sound. The way that this entire region has been developing was with help of these shellfish that were constantly filtering the water. When these guys are in trouble, it reverberates through the entire ecosystem. When people burn fossil fuels, all that gas goes up into the air and that gas is reabsorbed into the ocean, raising the acidity level of the ocean. Ocean currents carry carbon all over the world. It's like a heart pumping blood. The acidic ocean, it interferes with their ability to find the pieces they need to create this hard calcium carbonate shelf. The shellfish industry creates thousands of jobs right here in Washington State. When oysters thrive, people thrive. Picking an oyster straight from the beach that you had a hand in like preparing and keeping alive and shucking it yourself and then eating it. That is the freshest oyster that you can have and that has a huge impact on the experience. Even if they never eat another oyster, their life has been changed. Racy puns are the appetizer and delicious oysters are the main course that connects students with climate change. To learn more, The Living Shore by Rowan Jacobson is a great short read. It beautifully illustrates the link between shellfish and people. It also inspired the creation of this one-of-a-kind club. For the golden clam and the oyster from the sea, for the bread and butter and the strength from you and me, for student activities who funded us today, we'll gladly eat our oysters and live another day. Hooray! <laughs> For the golden clam and the oyster from the sea, and the bed and butter and the strength of you.